On a hot plate is a beaker with some colored water at the bottom. The colored water is boiling and I just placed an inverted beaker into the bigger beaker. And so the water is boiling and so the water particles are turning to gas form. The water particles are moving faster and faster, farther apart, and they're going inside the inverted smaller beaker. The water continues to boil at a vigorous pace, and they're going to remove the water from the hot plate. The beaker is now placed on the countertop, and as a result, the beaker is cooling down. Heat energy is being taken away from both beakers. And what's happening is the water vapor gas that's inside the smaller beaker is cooling down. So the particles are moving slower and slower and closer together. They move so close together, now they're in liquid phase. And so they're taking up less space in liquid phase as they are in gas phase. What's happening is it's creating a higher pressure outside the smaller beaker pushing down on the water and that forces the water to be pushed up into the smaller beaker. So in essence in the smaller beaker a vacuum is created. To get the full effect I'm going to take the beaker tongs and I'm going to flatten out the smaller beaker. So now you can see the dramatic rise of the colored water up inside the smaller beaker. So again, we create a vacuum inside because of the gas water condensing rapidly into a liquid, taking up less space in there, and thus creating a very, very low pressure. So the outside pressure is much greater. So the atmospheric pressure is pushing the water up into the top. Now, this can remain for days because the vacuum will stay intact. The only way the vacuum can be broken is if you lift the little beaker up and then break the vacuum.